When I'm surrounded by chaos, my mind is chaotic too. So recently PayPal did a survey and it showed, not surprisingly, that 60% of people that are working from home three days or more are, are, are struggling. They're finding it difficult. And 40% of those people are getting in arguments with their spouses, with their roommates, and it's mainly over budget and money. Because um, we're all working from home, we're all on a budget right now. I've come up with some really cute and easy ways to make your work from home spaces or your school from home spaces easier and doing it without breaking the bank. So one of my main, main recommendation, and this was not just for work from home, but back in the day when I traveled constantly was noise canceling headphones, especially right now when working from home. If you have roommates, if you have kids, dogs, or just daydream a lot, uh, noise canceling headphones will really help you stay focused and tune the rest of the world out so you can really utilize your time working and get things done. Also, making sure you've got a good chair. A lot of people are like, oh, I should get an, an office chair if I'm working from home. Now get something that looks good because you're gonna have to look at that chair even when you're not working. So make sure you get a chair that's comfortable and looks good, but supports your back as well. So for people who live in small spaces, I recommend getting like a nice big tray, like a big wood or plastic or metal tray that when that tray is out sitting on the bed or sitting on the coffee table or the sofa and your laptop's on it, your coffee's on it, your light's on it, it's work time. But when you put that tray away, work is done. Tray out, work time. Tray not out, not work time. Because it's really important to not only visually separate that space, but also to make sure that you know, some people that have home offices, you can shut the door. But for those of us who don't, you just put that tray away and no more working. Last year I traveled, I think, close to half a million miles in the air. Um, so now not really being on a plane for the last nine months at first was shocking, but I, I've kind of gotten used to it and I, I really enjoy it. I think this is, I think two months into it was the longest I've been home for 10 years um, with, my, with my design firm before and then Queer Eye. So it's been kind of nice. I know it's a little rough at the moment, but you know, we've got the holidays coming up and the holidays always make us feel warm, even though, you know, the holidays are gonna look a little different this year. It doesn't mean they still can't be merry. You know, my mom and I, when we were little, um, we used to always bake cookies. And when friends and family would come over, we'd send them home with a plate of cookies. Well, obviously we can't have all those people over this year. So I got out, went out and I bought a big stand mixer. So that way I can make cookies in big batches and I'm gonna ship all the cookies. I think it's really important to, to keep a sense of normalcy, you know, cause everything is, is not normal right now in so many ways. So we as species like normalcy, we like pattern, we like things that are repetitive. And so making sure that you're doing some of the things, same things that you would normally do, even if they're a little different, is gonna keep us happy and safe this year. We were filming in Austin when all this went down, and so we are a bit delayed, but we're very excited to get back to making more Queer Eye in the beginning of next year and bringing more happiness and cheer. You know, go out there, make sure that you're taking care of yourselves, get those work from home things, get the things that you need for holidays. Things will get better. Mm -hmm.